I believe in the power of dreams, like most of you, but I'm also fond of taking risks, unlike most of you. And these risks can bring unbelievable rewards, and they can be surprising. So I'm going to tell you today about the confluence of two streams of dreams and faith, and uh, how they came about in the most unlikely way. I'm not so sure I believed in the power of prayers, but I prayed anyway. Dear God, please give me an exciting life, a life worth living. After sending my thoughts into the ether, I promptly forgot what I asked for. After all, I'd always imagined that God was too busy taking care of white people's prayers and probably won't get to mine. To my surprise, my prayers were answered, and I was reminded of it years later. When I think of home, my mind's eye always pictured the mountains of Guizhou province in southwest China. Endless lush green hills nestled together, the top so pointy as if some giant had taken a pencil sharpener to each of them. The air thick with the scent of pine needles, peach fuzz rain, so fine it blended into the air, soaking your skin and filling your lungs. I often wonder if that's what's it like to be a fish, but of course, a fish wouldn't know better because it wouldn't have expected anything other than the vastness of the ocean. As for me, I couldn't have imagined anything other than home until I landed in the dry desert of New Mexico, United States, 19 years later. I was born in Waterloo, Iowa. My dad, Joseph, was a sculptor. My mom, Ruth, was an opera singer before she had my three sisters and me. My family lived in an art-filled home. My dad immersed us in his world of art at his studio in Rome, Italy, and at home. 